Hi. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. <sighs> Fine, if you prefer. Not friends. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lawfu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General, presumably to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows, because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the La Fu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron Crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprised? The notorious Stellaron Hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Sienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? Like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. 
There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the Destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated. By Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. So, the Sienjo, too, are engaged in this process. As far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yaosher and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the Aeon, they received a blessing that did indeed prevent death, the Ambrosial Arbor. But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Sienjo. That's when the hunt appeared, firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaosha, erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> It's begun. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> uh, did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we gonna explain this to the Master Diviner? 